Hey there, YouTubers. Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Today we have uh, another data entry type question. We have a gentleman named Michael who has created his own data entry program for uh, whatever reason, and we're going to take a look at it. Basically, he's wanting some auto incrementing, and he wants some automation to his um, to his form. So, without further ado, I'm going to click this open data entry button. Here's his form. So he types in the number on the bottleneck here. Then he types the make, which I guess is spear in this case. He can type 30 or 60, and it'll put 30 or 60 respectively in column C. Um, but uh, and then the, actually the bottleneck number it needs to automatically increment. So when this pops up, it'll say, "Hmm, what's the largest number here? 241? Well, let's make it 242, and it'll say 242 right here automatically." Then the make. Uh, he can type in manually. He can click 60 or 30. That's fine. He'd like the serial number to always begin with IO space 67. But then he's going to have he's going to type in one, two, three characters, and those one, two, three characters are going to be deleted or cleared out each time. So basically, we just need this to equal IO space 67 every time they click submit or every time it opens. So that's easy. And then the date put into service, we can just have that be today's date, and it's still changeable, but it could automatically put in today's date whenever it opens. And then the valve needs to begin with 140-2050, and again, he's going to add three characters to that, which will erase each time it's submitted. So that's really easy peasy, jungle breezy. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, so first off... <clears throat> Let's hit Alt F11 and get into the Visual Basic Editor and double click on the user form that he's got here. Um, what we'll do, first things first, for the bottleneck number, basically the easiest way to do this, let's, let me show you over here on, in, the, in a cell here. I'm going to say equals the max. So I want to know the maximum number, the highest number in column A. So max of A through A uh, and uh, end quote or in parentheses. So we see that the maximum number in this column is 241. How about we, in our formula, we say equals the maximum of all that stuff plus 1. And, and that's going to be 242. So quite simply, we just want to know the maximum number in column A and add 1 to it. And that's what's going to be uh, auto-populated in this text box, which is called text box 1. I'm going to leave that named that because it it knows to copy text box 1 to the column 1. So I'm not going to rename it, although I was tempted for a second. So whenever the user form initializes, so you double click on the background somewhere, like here in the gray, and then instead of user form click, I want to user form initialize. That means when the user form is opening. And that's where we're going to put our code, whenever it, whenever it opens, OK? So um, here we go. The first thing is we're gonna we're gonna make a note. We're getting the um, the next uh, bottleneck. Oh my goodness! Next bottleneck number. So there's our note, and I'm gonna say uh, me dot text box one. That's the text box we want this to go into. Is going to equal the application dot worksheet dot worksheet function dot max there's that max worksheet function you just say application dot worksheet function dot and then you got a lot of the worksheet functions available in VBA so we're using max we want the max of range uh, oops range A through A and then we want to after we have the max I'm going to add 1 to it so let's see how that does right off the bat. Hit F5. Well, 242 is what I wanted to be there, so I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to leave that alone. The next thing is the bottle make, and he can manually type in spear. And it looks like, judging from the code that we just saw, he's automatically putting spear in. Uh, regardless of what's typed in there, so I mean that's fine. Um. I'm going to put a t I'm going to do some indenting here for his if then else statement here. Um, 
it looks like that is always going to be C. So yeah, that's fine. Um, the next, okay, so the next order of business, let's double click here. What do we got? Bottle make. Nope, this is good. Serial number needs to be IO space 67 whenever it opens. And then he can add to that later. So, okay, double click here. What is the name? This is text box 4. So double click on the gray area to go back to our user form initialize. So me dot text box 4 tab equals, and just simply I'm going to put in capital IO space uh, 67 in quote and then I'm gonna put a comment with an apostrophe they can add three characters after this okay the next so let's hit F5 and see how that does looks like it loads that just fine the date put into service we want that to equal today's date and the built-in variable in VBA for today's date, do you know what it is? That's right, it's D A T E, date. So uh, let's get the name of that text box. Text box 5. So here we go. Me.textbox5 tab equals date. Now, if it capitalizes itself when I click away, then you know that that is a built in variable because it wouldn't have capitalized itself if it didn't already know the value for that. So that's going to be today's date. Hit F5, boom. There you go. So that's working just fine. Now it is changeable, but it automatically pops that in there for you, so that's nice. And the valve number finally it needs to begin with 1402050. So on the user form initialize, uh, I imagine that would be text box 6, but I'm going to check. It is, okay me dot text box six equals one four zero oh, two zero oh, five zero oh, end quote and then of course they can add three characters again to that uh, da, 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 copy and paste that note now finally what we ought to do is all this good stuff that happens whenever the user form begins needs to happen when the user form is closed, or and when the submit button is hit. So after all this, I, I just copied it by the way. I select all this, Control C to copy, and at the bottom I'm gonna say um, the next one or something like that. It's clear. This will clear out some of the fields. Um, so let's let's put a stop marker right about there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So whenever the user form is initialized, by, so in this case we'll click the button to initialize the user form from scratch. Here it is. So 242, it automatically got the next number there. That's nice. The bottle make we're going to say is Spirian. And then let's pick a 60, whatever that means. And we'll say 555 for the three digit number here. And the date's fine. And the valve number, let's say, nine 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 now when I hit submit five 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 and nine 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 respectively will be gone because it's just gonna pop in what we told it to pop in over here and that's what he wants he wants to be able to put a new one in there and then this will become 243 because we put the code in there again so I'm gonna hit submit and look down here uh, look right here on this line it's gonna go in and submit okay so here is where we're at I'll close this up a little bit so you can see. It's already punched it in the worksheet in the background. And now it's finally, it looks like it's maybe doing the date or something. So I'm going to hit F8. And then finally, we're taking our text box 1 and we're doing the same thing again. We're going to get the next serial number, which should be 243 now. Boom. IO67, today's date. And. 140-2050. In fact, we probably better not do today's date. Uh, I mean, this could go either way, but I would assume if they've changed the date, for example, after submitting it, they probably want to keep that date on there until changed. So I'm going to change that. But And then the text box over there is that, and bada bing. So let's see how that looks. Looks like we're ready for another entry. So let's take our stop marker off, and let's just do some data entry now. So, okay, here we go. Spirian, this one's going to be a blah, blah. Oh, that's right, it'll only say Spirian for right now. This is number 243, and it's a 30, and it's number 444. Tab, tab. Oh, the tab order is messed up, but right arrow key. One, two, three. 
submit okay oops F5 now it'll go and so it clears it out 654 and 654 submit and 655 655 and this is tomorrow's date yep it looks like it's working so now it's number 246 it's ready to go on the next bottleneck number so that's pretty much it uh, that's a little few simple data entry tricks to automate uh, and make everything simpler for you so hopefully that's helpful to you and uh, thanks again for watching and God bless and we will catch you next time <laughs>